best find in the tide pools today or best find in the tide pools ever. Holding it felt like jello with bones inside. Those teeth though. The animal was a wolf eel, but just its head. Because it was something that was unusual that we had never seen in the tide pools, it was definitely a mystery to us. You know, why was it there? Why did it have pink teeth? Why was it just a head? We didn't really know that it was gonna be such a big mystery. I had about 1,500 people either like it or retweet it, and then the Cal Academy also tweeted it with the photos, and they actually had like 6,000 people respond to their tweet. Wolf eels are members of a family of Persiform fishes, Anorichthys oscillatus. These are eel-like. Anything that's long and slender gets called eels. It lives in the North Pacific. The first person on Twitter who was responding to the pink tea thought it might be due to lack of oxygen or hypoxia. We figured it probably was not hypoxia though because if there was a hypoxic event going on off of our coast, we probably would have seen a lot more fish up high in the tide pools or a lot more dead fish. I asked Dave if he'd ever seen pink teeth on any wolf eels in our collection. I never had a request like that before and I found that particular specimen that had obviously reddish colored teeth the most likely theory for why it has pink teeth is because they eat red urchins, and so they end up basically getting that coloration in their teeth. And also sea otters get purple staining on their teeth and actually in their bones, like on their skulls from eating purple urchins. In searching around, I found a couple possible reasons why we only found the head. I found a scientific paper describing how harbor seals off our coast eat wolf eels but leave behind their heads. Second, our colleague Dr. John McCosker thought that the head might have been left behind by someone fishing. So that mystery lives on. A picture like this isn't just great for social media, it's great for science. It definitely inspires our curiosity, but it might even solve a mystery or add to our knowledge of a species. And it's something we all can do by just getting outside with our phones and sharing our experiences with others.